Good evening, I'm Candace Red. I have a drive-by shooting story to tell you about, but first, let's talk about the weather with Denise Turner. Thank you, Candace. It's a beautiful day across the Delta today. Today we saw lots of sunshine with nippy weathers out there. Tomorrow we see warmer temperatures, and later in the week will we actually get some thunder showers? I'll have your full weather forecast later in the show, but for now, back to news. Well, shots fired. A 22-year-old man is in jail after allegedly shooting someone. Shaquille Weeks is charged with a drive-by shooting. Police say he allegedly shot a man named Joe Lewis. It happened last week in the 500 block of Clay Street in Indianola. Police say they're still investigating, but the victim is okay. Weeks is in the Sunflower excuse me, the Sunflower County Jail with a $10,000 bond. And it's still unclear how a missing man from Mount Bayou died. Arizona authorities found the body of 48-year-old Eugene Harrell in the Colorado River in Bullhead City. Now, according to reports, Harrell left Mississippi on a bus to visit his son in Las Vegas. Police say there are no indications of foul play. And keeping our eye on the flood waters with more counties and Mississippi are eligible for disaster help. 11 additional counties have been added to Mississippi's disaster declaration. Sunflower County is among those eligible for FEMA's individual assistance program. It provides temporary housing assistance and other aid. Now, Bolivar, Cahoma, and Washington counties were already declared to apply. Just go ahead and go to disasterassistance.gov or call the number shown right there on your screen. And the federal government is giving Mississippi $13.3 million. This is all for flood recovery. Republican U.S. Senator Thad Cochran says the money will be used for cleanup, repair, and flood prevention projects in 29 counties. Now, some include Grenada, LaFleur, and Yazoo. In business news, there's a new salon for natural hair lovers. Well, Simply Natural Hair Care Salon is located at 229 North Street in Cleveland. The salon celebrated its grand opening this afternoon. The owner says the salon is happy to provide chemical-free hair services. I want to stop a lot of our young girls from getting perms, and um, that's one reason I want them to be, you know, embrace their own natural beauty. And a lot of us think we have bad hair. It's not bad hair, it's damaged hair. The salon also services children. And the Shriners Club in Greenville is fighting diabetes while the club held its annual National Diabetes Fundraiser this morning. Members collected donations from drivers on the corner of East Reed Road and South Colorado Street. Member Cyrus Van says diabetes is serious and preventable. We understand that diabetes disproportionately affects African Americans in our community, and we're just doing our part to uh, raise awareness and also to uh, raise funds to uh, combat that disease. The funds raised will go towards research, and Greenville Public School District is showing pride by hosting a huge parade while hundreds of students marched in the Parade of Excellence this morning in downtown Greenville. The award-winning Greenville High School Solid Gold Marching Band also participate, of course. Plus, let's not forget about the district cheerleaders, dancers, and choir members. Well, Greenville Mayor Eric Simmons and several other community leaders also attended. And residents right here in Greenville, they're celebrating black love. Well, the celebration was held this morning at Buster Brown Community Center. The purpose of the event was basically to honor black married couples. The event featured guest speakers, including a couple married for, get this, more than 55 years. Here's one of the event sponsors. High statistics of very neg negative activity in terms of uh, the types of things that we're becoming involved in. And I just believe that um, love, uh, even though it sounds very simplistic, is probably one of the best things that we can do. The program ended this evening with a black love banquet. And it's all about the first Friday Blues Jam in downtown Hollandale. On the first Friday of each month, bands will perform live music in a series of free concerts. Local blues and jazz musician Roy Schilling is coordinating the event. Now, John Horton and the Special Occasion Band performed last night. Well, the concerts will be he excuse me, held now through September. 
Well, if that doesn't get you dancing, I know what will. The state of Mississippi is closely watching American Idol this season. That's because two contestants are from the Magnolia State. Take a look. Trent Harmon is from from Amory and LaPortia Renee, she is from Macomb, Mississippi. Both contestants are top three finalists fighting for the last American Idol crown. Well, American Idol is ending its run next week after 15 long seasons. Well, let's talk politics. So all of the candidates for president are holding events in Wisconsin today before Tuesday's primary. The state could help decide if Donald Trump can win the Republican nomination with CBS News correspondent Wendy Gillette reports from New York. The next president of the United States, Donald J. Trump. Well, be sure to stick with us because Denise Turner will have your forecast after the break. We'll be right back. <laughs> 